Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a final exam and I'm just going to show you everything that I'm eating during the day so that my brain can just do its best work. So my exam is at 9am this morning until 12 so it's quite a long exam. So I need to make sure I'm having a good breakfast that's going to keep me full throughout it so that I'm not starving halfway through. Okay. So that's what we're going to go make now. and literally like the coldest exam for you today and the weather by itself it's been like pretty cold the past few days so i have a lot of layers to put on i'm gonna wear a shirt a jersey a hoodie and a coat and i should be warm enough and then obviously if i overheat i can always do layers but that's the plan because i don't want to be freezing during this exam i honestly feel like i might need gloves because i don't think i have any so I'm um, just about all set to go. And the water bottle has been filled. So basically, my plan for exams, this session, which I think is pretty smart about, not only having enough to get paper sweets, so I'm just using some fruity bags. And then I'm putting everything in this little bag. And then this bag's gonna go in the bag during the exam, so I don't have to hand in a bag because otherwise, I'll just leave the bag stuck outside the venue. Whereas if I can put it all in here and stick this under my desk, I'll have my phone and watch and everything. It will work better. So I'm gonna put that in there. This paper today is basically two long essays, which I'm a little bit nervous for, I'm not going to lie, but it is three hours, so I should have more than enough time. But yeah, I think we're about ready for this, except I have a tiny bit of coffee left, which I need to drink. We finished our exam. And they have left quite a bit early, but to be honest, I don't feel like we're reading anything. Because I've written two essays, they're both half pages long, which is longer than I thought. But then I had 10 minutes before I could leave, otherwise I'd tweet for half an hour. And I didn't want to do that, so I have standards to just left early. But it's fun. We're going to go sit and chill and enjoy the outside and take off some layers because I'm seriously overheating at the moment. So we're back home and I think it's time for lunch because I'm pretty hungry and it's not like just after 12 so as you said for lunch you tend to come. So I made some soup for my last video as like meal prep and we're still slowly making our way through her. So I'm going to dish up some of that and heat it up for lunch today and then I'm just going to either make like some cheese on toast or like cheese on a wrap. Or maybe just buy some toast. I don't know. Something along those lines. My soup is all warm. Now I'm just waiting for my bread to get all done, and then we should be good. Got myself a little bit of chocolate as a treat because we've done our work did the exam i don't think i'm gonna do any more studying today to be honest because 
writing an exam requires a lot of brain power and I don't want to start thinking about chemistry today so I'm just gonna chill take the rest of the day off I'll probably go to the gym at some point this afternoon but not right now so I'm just gonna lie in my bed watch some videos and possibly take a nap later I just made myself a nice little cup of tea and I've got a little Becky, my last one. I definitely want to make them more sweet because they're so good. I'm busy watching the painkiller documentary on Netflix at the moment and it's honestly really scary. Like, it's quite hectic but going into the medical industry. I think it's good to have kind of an awareness of what grief and power can do to people. So I'm learning things. It's a bit freaky, but yeah. <laughs> So right now, I'm gonna have a nice shower and then I'm gonna get my hair wash and then I'm gonna make myself like a little yogurt bar snack. Here's another little student tea hack for you. So this is like almost finished, right? So I'm just gonna make my yogurt bowl in here rather than dirty in the dish. <laughs> she isn't like the prettiest meal you've probably ever seen but you know what she's kind of got everything she needs and look at all that feta on top you can't tell me that does not appeal to you so basically i got this pre-made sauce a while ago and i mixed cottage cheese so it's like a tomato and olive kind of sauce and we add cottage cheese in but then kind of made like too much sauce for the amount of pasta i had so i froze half of that then uh cooked that up yesterday with some tuna and a some more pasta. Okay, nice. So that is the meal. Quite beautiful. Should be quite delicious. So we're gonna go eat her now in um, my boyfriend's room and watch some Netflix or Harry Potter and just enjoy life. Do we rendezvous there? And the count of 